Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where we are going to be mixing and matching some different animal genes today to see what kind of adorable little experiments might result with our little hybrid animals. And today we are actually taking a break from the very snowy and cold climates that we have been working in of late, my pixel biologist scientist. And instead we are going to be traveling over to the African plains to work with some brand new genetics that have just become available. Yes, my friends. Yes, it is finally time. The wonderful Kalino has created a new piece of custom content for animals that is going to change the name of the game of how we dive into our Sims 4 Labarcatory challenge forever. May I present to you, my friends, not this beautiful lion named Sarah Lynn. We will be visiting with her very soon, but instead, this elephant! There is a little Ellie! Do you see this baby? I am so in love. Elephant. An elephant! Kalina was able to make miniature elephants for The Sims 4. Are you kidding me? Think about all of the really cool things that we would be able to create if we could breed an elephant with all of the different animals. That They have never been even possible on our list of creatures that we could combine and create hybrids out of before. But now we have Ellie's. And I, I can't even imagine what that's going to do for all of our experiments. This will be the very first time we have ever had to deal with an elephant trunk. And I think that she has even created some special, no, put it back on. This is what the little pup looks like without any custom content. But if we go ahead and we add back on the custom content, this is the pieces that you need to do to create an elephant. You need to be able to have the top, and these are all available on Kalino's Tumblr, by the way. Definitely Google it if you're having a hard time finding it. And then it looks like we also have a little elephant body down here. And when you put the two together, you get yourselves a miniature elephant, which is just so exciting. And I cannot wait to see what kind of hybrids we can create with that combo. So my friends, I would like you all to join us as we adventure into the very unique story of Ghost. Ghost, you see, is a very, very rare species of miniature elephant, and he has done his best to basically live as a ghost, to slip out of the corner of everyone's eyes, to be able to hide under the brambles any time someone comes near. For you see, the world doesn't know that there happen to be miniature elephants that exist, and he wants to keep it that way, because the less people know about him, the more likely he is to survive. So he has spent his whole life being hidden and trying to hide away from anything that could find him and not really able to find a herd of his own. One of the drawbacks to being an extremely secretive species is that you have a hard time even finding others of your own kind. And that is where Sarah Lynn the Lion actually comes in. And Sarah Lynn the Lioness has actually just left her family pack. It was getting really, or excuse me, pride. The pride was getting really over full. Too many cousins, too many siblings. It was really just not her place anymore. Uh, and as is usual, when a lion pride becomes that large, they set off to try to establish their own territory and build up their own pride. And Sarah Lynn has been keeping an eye out for perhaps another lioness to be able to start working with. One of her cousins is surely somewhere around here, but she's also been keeping an eye out for lunch. And that is when she stumbles upon little ghost who has managed to find himself trapped in a bramble bush and is not able to escape at the sound with those big giant ears of the lion approaching he trembles in fear he thinks this is it this is it it is the last moment of my life what if this is the extinction of my species and sarah lynn rounds the corner and stares down in shock at this teeny tiny little trembling elephant and then her weakness strikes for you see my friends Sarah Lynn has a weakness that is, uh, you know, also one of the reasons that she left the Pride and that she's trying to hide from anyone that she meets. She has a hard time with really, really cute things. She could take down a whole wildebeest if she needed to, but faced with an absolutely adorable doe-eyed little antelope calf, she just hasn't ever been able to make that final blow to take the final bite. And that is a bit of a sign of weakness in a lioness Pride, after all. 
She can't really eat the cute things. It's just very difficult for her. And so as she stares down at little Ghost and his trembling, she just can't bring herself to make him lunch. And when she frees him and he realizes, wait a second, I could be onto something here, permanently protected by a lion? Well, you know, he leaps at that. They travel together for quite some time. And then eventually, as time passes and they walk into the distant sunset over and over and over again, well, their little pride grows between the two of them. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what happens when we have a pride of lion elephant calf kits. What on earth do you even call that? <laughs> a lion fint? So let's see what happens if we make a, a lion fint. All right, Sarah Lynn, you're up. Let's do this. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, that's so cute. We need to have a lot of other lion crossbreeds sometime soon too. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna crossbreed our lion with our elephant. And then if it is a small creature, cause there's not custom content for the elephant nose for a big one. If it is a small creature, no matter what coloring it has, it will get the nose. If it is a big creature, then we will not give it the nose. It'll just be a lion. <gasps> it's lion patterned! But is it going to be small like like Ghost the Elephant Dad or big like Sarah Lynn the uh, mother? We'll have to see. All right, let me pull up the random comment generator. And remember guys, if you want to end up becoming a lion as well, all you guys need to do is go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below and the random comment generator may select you to become one of our crossbreeds. And in this case, it has selected Kitty. Kitty, a late happy birthday to you, my friend. And I hope that you're very excited to be a lion friend. We'll have to see when you grow up if you end up having a lion set of ears and the nose or not. Uh, but there you go, Kitty. Oh, and also if they do end up growing up into a big animal like their mother then we'll go ahead and give them this special tail this is actually the horse tail from kalino's mod for horses but it works really great to make a more realistic looking lion tail highly recommended all right and kitty i didn't tell what your personality is but kitty you are playful you are a sleuth and you are independent so it really seems like you have a lot of that lioness personality in you all right let's get the next little baby up oh I really love the lions. We need to do some more crossbreeds with the lions too. But I might just about to like fall in love with the elephants here. I never want to go back. Also, yay! And now we have Wisher. Wisher, welcome. There we go. And you are going to be a jumpy sleuth who is independent. Is that the same as your sister? Nearly. Where she is playful, you're a little more jumpy. That's really cute. And you look like your mom. Oh. I think Sarah Lynn is quite proud. You know, now she can raise a family who will never taunt her for her weakness, unlike, you know, the pride she came from. All right, let's get the next little baby incoming. And who do we have here? <gasps> it's our very first one who has elephant patterning. What? Okay, let me pull up the next name. There we go. And this is actually going to be Wolf. Wolf, welcome. Wolf the lion fit. Do you like how crisscross applesauce we make <laughs> so many of the animal genes here? It really makes my head spin. Also, Wolf, I think the idea of having a phoenix and a husky sounds amazing. I'm going to go ahead and write that down right now. I actually do have a real piece of paper on a clipboard here. We have to make sure that we take notes when we're in the laboratory after all. And if you guys like the sound of any of the mixes that I read off that other people have suggested, then just let me know in the comments because we have hundreds of options to pick from. So it really helps me when you guys are like, are you kidding? A phoenix and a husky? Let's do this. It really helps to narrow it down so that I can like put that up on the list of one of the things to do next. All right. And Wolf, you are a stubborn, adventurous, smart little one. And if you grow up to be just like a lion hide lion, or excuse me, an elephant hide lion, or if you're gonna be a, another tiny elephant remains to be seen. All right, let's get the next sibling in. Sarah Lynn's quite proud of this growing pride. And now we have another one who's got the lion aspect, or excuse me, got the um, elephant aspects. I didn't mean lion. I think this one has the lion ears is my guess. All right, and you little one, you're gonna be rounds. Oh, that's so cute. 
<laughs> I wonder if you're gonna end up with the big round belly like the elephants. And Rounds, you are actually an aggressive one. So we may actually have just created an aggressive miniature elephant. Those are words I never thought I would say, ever, in a sentence together. And yet, this is where we are. I love the way our adventures take us into such curious new lands. And you are also very hairy, which makes me think that maybe we should turn a miniature elephant into a woolly mammoth sometime? Huh? Huh? And you are a sleuth, so you're also quite curious and want to investigate the area to make sure it's safe for you and your family. Alright, Sarah Lynn, let's get the next baby in here. And the next little one is... Oh, big ears, big ears! I can tell you're going to have some big ears when you grow up. All right, this is going to be Amanda. Amanda, welcome to the bride. You are going to be playful, hairy, and adventurous, which sounds like a really delightful combination. And Amanda, the idea of a finnick fox and a wolf sounds very fun. I think we've had a lot of requests for finnick foxes of late, so I'm going to have to add that to the list too. All right, and the very last baby coming on up. As I imagine that Ghost the Miniature Elephant is extremely excited about all this. A larger herd means more protection after all. And it's another little girl who has the lion coloring! Okay, let me pull up the last name. And this is gonna be Jay! Welcome Jay, welcome. You cannot produce wool. Good try though. However, you can be hairy, a glutton, and a sleuth. So I will totally give you all of those. And now, my friends, it is the moment of truth. As this tiny little pride of cubs manages to grow, eating a combination of the plant matter and the meat that their mom is able to bring back to them, I have a feeling Ghost would show them where to eat the best plants, and Sarah would bring back, you know, a very ugly, ornery, old, maybe wildebeest. It definitely wouldn't be a cute little antelope. She just can't bring herself to do it. Let's go ahead and see how the pride grows and if they're going to be big enough to be able to protect the miniature elephants as Ghost hopes, or if they're going to be teeny tiny and kind of an adorable little noisy herd of uh, lion fins. Kitty, you're up first. <gasps> Kitty, you're big! Kitty is big! Okay, so Kitty is actually straight up a lioness. Like, no question about it. Kitty, I'm sorry, you just can't do the dragon tail. Somehow, somebody, one of you, is always mixing in the dragon genes to this experiment. Don't worry, calm down. We'll get there. We'll have dragon experiments, just elsewhere. Alright, so Kitty, you look fantastic. You look just like your mom, more or less. I think you might have maybe your dad's, like, wider eyes. But you're basically a carbon copy of your mother, and the difference between you and your mother's pride that she used to have is that you won't tease your mom for not being able to eat the adorable cute little things. And Wisher, you're up next. Are you going to be big or small? Another big one! Okay, Wisher, I can definitely see that there is some difference around the facial structure here. A much larger and longer muzzle. But otherwise, very normal, other than the fact that somebody is sneaking those jeans in for the dragon tail again. Yeah, look at that chomper! Wow! The muzzle is bigger here, but otherwise we have another healthy lion. Eventually he'll start growing his mane around two to three years old. And then Wolf, you're up next. Are you going to be tiny or are you going to be big? <gasps> you're going to be big! Oh my gosh, the ears! <laughs> So Wisher, or excuse me, Wolf, Wolf, even though you don't happen to have the gigantic ears, you still went with some pretty big ears. And I think you have some of the lion treats at least, so you might be able to help keep your dad safe. And you've got the little funky tail. That's adorable. All right, welcome Wolf, the Ella lion. And then we've got, or the lion fint. I think I like lion fint the best. Then we've got little rounds. Rounds, what are you going to grow up to be? Another big one? Oh, I really wanted to see what would happen if we had like the elephant nose. All right, guys, cross your fingers. I'm really hoping we'll be able to get a small one in here somewhere. Amanda, come on, help us out here. Help us out. <gasps> okay, Amanda, you helped us out. You're not small, but, but I love you. You guys! <laughs> oh, look at those ears. All the better to cure you with. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, Amanda, you're amazing. I can't believe we didn't end up with a single one who is small and tiny like their dad. We're not gonna get a chance to be able to see what it would look like to have a different nose on some of these ones. Ah, all right. Jay, are you going to be our tiny little lion? Or are you going to be like our tiny little ele miniature elephant? Or are you going to be part of the lion pride? Yes! Yes! Finally! Jay, you just saved the day. All right, friends, it's a moment of truth. We're gonna come on in here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what happens if we go ahead and have, are we really ready for this? Let's try this out. If we have the elephant nose and ears on a teeny little miniature lion. <laughs> it's so weird, it's kind of cute. Look at you, Jay. Okay, okay. This is one of those moments where I'm so excited and hyped that we can even do this at all. And I'm also wondering, what has science wrought? This is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. I just wanted one. I just wanted to know. We've got to breed this elephant with other creatures, guys. I need your guys' suggestions. Look at this. Yes, it's so awesomely weird. I need your guys' suggestions down in that comment section. Who should we go ahead and breed our elephant with? Because I think that this is going to result in some hilariously interesting mixes. Look at the ears! Oh, that's so cool on the back. Wow! And I mean, just more and more delightful things for us to try to do. So if you guys could leave your suggestions, do please do that and leave a like for our little wonderful family. Come on, Wolf, you've got it too. Everybody's good here. They're gonna protect their little miniature elephant dad now. Then, oh, oh look at that, and Amanda! <laughs> then that would be absolutely amazing. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, Stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.